we're going to try to calculate the net vertical and horizontal forces acting on a charge. So we're looking at this upper right point charge, and we have the magnitudes of the force vectors, and we have all the total angles of the force vectors. So what you're going to have is a horizontal component, the net force in the x direction. We'll also have a net force in the y direction, which is the vertical component. And then there's going to be a resultant vector, which is going to be the net force vector. Notice that the net horizontal force is adjacent to this angle. The net vertical force is opposite to this angle. So we have the sum of all forces in the x direction. And since it's the x direction, we're going to be using the cosine. So we're going to take our 360 Newton force and multiply it by the cosine of zero. Then we're going to add that to our 180 Newton force times the cosine of 225 plus our 360 Newton force times the cosine of 270. If you type all these numbers into a calculator, you should get 232.7 Newtons. Now, if you want to calculate the sum of forces in the y direction, you can do the same thing, except this time with the sine. Again, if you add all these numbers together on your calculator, you should get negative 487.3 Newtons. The vertical vector actually points down instead of up. So these two vectors are the horizontal and vertical components of the net forces acting on the point charge.